Hey guys, this is Little Pug Games, and this is part three of the Chicken Slayer series. And today we're going to go over how to use the recoil script we created last time and use it to create camera shape for our uh, Chicken Slayer game. And the other thing we're going to uh, learn how to do today is how to create a sound effect for our weapon and how easy it is to actually set that up. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're here in Unity. And the first thing we want to do is go into our main camera and add the recoil script we had created last time. And we're going to set the maximum offset distance to 0.5, recoil acceleration to 30, and negative 10 for our speed. And I've played around with this a little, and these values work pretty well. So the next thing we want to do is go into our recoil script and what we want to do is we want to add another function. So add recoil and the only difference between this and the old add recoil is that this will take a vector 3 and we'll name it fire direction. So we want to create this function so that we can give it any fire direction we want to. We're just going to copy this, paste, and the only difference is we're going to change this transform right right here into the fire direction. And with that, uh, we have our recoil script ready for camera shake. We're going to go into our machine gun script next. What we want to do is have this machine gun have a reference to the recoil script that the camera has. We're going to go into our machine gun script and we're going to say public recoil script and this will be the camera recoil script and this is the reference we want. And the only thing we need to get this recoil started is when we fire we need to say camera recoil script dot add recoil and we'll say <clears throat> we'll say transform dot right as our fire direction. That should do it for camera shake. We'll go into our machine gun script and set it the public recoil script to the main camera recoil script and then we'll play. And then we can see that we have a recoil effect. So if you notice, the recoil is added in the opposite direction of the fire. So it's pretty cool. So the next part of this tutorial is how to add a sound effect system for our weapon. It's very easy to do this and we'll use an audio source for this. So we'll go into the machine gun object and we'll add an audio source. And we'll go into our machine gun script. The idea is when our weapon fire fires, we want to play a specific clip, uh, fire, uh, weapon firing clip. What we will do is we're going to add a public audio clip an audio source uses an audio clip and it will play that audio clip. We'll say fire or weapon firing clip and we'll, we'll have this and we'll also have a private variable. This will be the audio source that we just added. We'll just call this audio source and we'll get the audio source in our start method audio source is equal to get component audio source uh, okay the only thing we need to set up the sound effects is say audio source dot play one shot so we'll go into our firing uh, statement and we'll just say audio source dot play one shot so one shot it will just play that clip one time we'll say 
play the weapon firing clip whenever we fire the weapon. We'll, we'll go back to Unity and we'll go to our machine gun and we'll see it up here right here and I have the audio source right here the audio clip I'll just add it right here we'll play the game and nothing's happening I'm sorry I had the audio muted so we'll play that one more time there you go and we Awesome. So that does it for part three of the Chicken Slayer series. And today we went over how to create a camera shake effect. And we did that using the recoil script that we created last time. We added that recoil script into our camera and called it whenever our machine gun fired. The next thing we did is we learned how to set up a sound effect system for whenever our weapon fires. And we did this using Unity's audio source and audio clip. And the next episode, we'll learn how to set up a particle system for whenever the weapon fires. And that'll be the end of this Chicken Slayer series. I hope you guys found this useful and that you learned something cool. And I appreciate you guys watching this. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.